One of the longest U.S. prime TV series currently on air is NCIS. A show that started as a mere spin-off of JAG has amassed a cult following over the years, earning it the third spot on the longest-running TV shows in the U.S. Currently, the fan favorite has entered its 19th season and shows no sign of slowing down. With almost 20 years on air, we commend the cast for sticking around for so long. To start with, let's take a look at how long it takes the cast to film a single episode. In a trend of filming 10 to 15 episodes per season, NCIS puts out 23 episodes, with each episode lasting for about 39 to 44 minutes. The filming schedule has got to be crazy, right? The supervising producer of the show, Avery C. Drew, revealed that the show gets into post-production the minute everybody gets their scripts for the week. Since the show requires a fast turnaround from script to film, a single episode is filmed in a approximately eight days. After the initial eight days of filming, the post-production work begins with Avery, editing and adding music and sound effects. The finished product by the end of the three days is essentially an editor's cut. From the moment the producers and the director each get three days to finalize the episode, filming for 12 hours a week and then editing for six days at different stages? That sure sounds like a lot of work behind a single episode. But hey, who's complaining? We love the flow of each episode. Let's look at the process of how magic is made on film. If you've ever wondered what goes on behind filming an action sequence, this is for you. A single action sequence takes about five steps to film from planning and execution to filming. The first one on the list is blocking. This part generally pertains to working out the actor's movement, kind of like the blueprint of the scene. At this point, lines are not relevant as actors are only given an overview of the positions where the scene will start, where everyone else is in the scene will be positioned, and where the scene will end. Blocking is done so they aren't caught off guard with the camera positioning. Lighting is the next step the directors work on. Well, lighting. Depending on the requirement of the scene, the source of light is determined as to what would translate best and suit the storyline for the specific episode and fight sequence. Now we move on to what most would think as the most important step, that is, rehearsal. During rehearsals, the actors generally practice lines and issues that may show up pertaining to lighting and blocking. The rehearsals are generally the time when any issue during filming may arise, which are then and there taken care of in the next step, which is tweaking. The feedback from rehearsals is implemented in this step. Any light blockages, angles, or any tweaks on the actors are made at this point. After all of the previous steps have been taken care of, the last part of the process is, of course, filming. After this crash course, NCIS or not, you better be ready to film your next fight sequence. Now moving on to the juicy part. How long does it take to film an action sequence for NCIS? Albeit a dramatized version of a law enforcement agency, the show still has a lot of fighting sequences that have the fans asking a ton of questions. It's commonly a known fact that action sequences take a long time to shoot. This is because, from start to finish, all precautions and safety measures need to be taken into consideration consideration to ensure the safety of all actors. Action sequences for high-budget films like Mission Impossible, Fallout, take about four weeks to film a single scene. And for relatively smaller budget TV shows like NCIS, the duration is still longer than one may expect. Cote de Pablo, aka Ziva David, said that a single scene could take three hours to shoot. Factoring in the rest of the scenes that actors need to complete in the day, we're glad we're not the ones in front of the camera. We've got to give these actors props for not only slaying the action, but looking flawless while doing it and for filming other scenes per schedule. Let's learn more about what their filming schedule looks like on a daily basis directly from other cast members. Sean Murray, aka Timothy McGee on the show, once revealed that the cast was filming for approximately 12 hours per day in 2020. He elaborated that filming days were generally better by that time as most of the cast sat comfortably in their characters when the camera was rolling. Explaining the cast routine better, he said that it's easy for the cast members to get into character. As they have been playing them for such a long time, each of the actors is intimately familiar with their character. Murray further establishes the fact that it's easier for the cast members to get into character because the world of NCIS is one they have been from scratch and are intimately familiar with. The familiarity then helps them film intense and challenging storylines as well. When asked how Sean shakes off a long day of work, his reply was, it's gotten easier over the years to get over that. Frankly, our hours are not nearly as hard or as long as they used to be. An average day for us is about 12 hours of work, counting in three hours for an action sequence,
sequence for a 12-hour shoot couldn't be us. Up next, how did NCIS get a spin-off from JAG? JAG was one of the most popular CBS shows that ran on air for 10 years, before the series ended in 2015. The Navy-based spin-off was created by Donald P. Belisario. What's interesting is that NCIS did not get much attention at the beginning of its premiere, and for about two seasons didn't have nearly as much following as it has today. Slowly but steadily, it climbed the ranks of television, and by season three was ranked in the top 20, and by the sixth season among the top five, and has kept the spot. Though it started slow, the show became a cult favorite, and in an online poll was voted to be America's favorite television show. During the 2012-13 network television season, NCIS became the most watched TV show in all of the U.S. A show that started off as a spin-off has multiple offshoot shows of its own. That's what we call cultivating a loyal following. What's more, one of the cast members actually studied the profession that they were playing on screen. Did you know that Polly Peretti, aka Abby Shudo, studied criminal science as a grad student? She explains how acting was only a side job for her to pay the bills. But for an actor to land a role that they were academically interested in, what are the odds? In the words of Peretti, I have a lifelong crime obsession. Undergrad, I went to school for sociology, psychology, and criminal science. Now I play a forensic scientist, which I was studying to be in the first place. It could be weird or it could be perfect. Talk about the stars aligning. In all honesty, the passion that Polly had for the, her job shone through the character and we couldn't imagine a better Amy Shudo. Last but not least, let's end this on a rather scandalous note. It's speculated that Mark Harmon forced Don Belisario, the creator of the show, off it. The working relationship between the star of the show and the producer was not the best as both of them were allegedly often seen bickering on the set. The equation got so toxic that Harmon reportedly went up to the network and gave them an ultimatum. The show could either have Harmon, the star and face of the show, or Belisario. The channel, of course, chose to have Harmon on board, under whose star power the show ran. It was also noted at one point that the most wanted wall also had a picture of Don Belisario at one point. Was this done in malice by Harmon or only as a harmless joke? Whichever the case may be, it sure is creepy. Does this incident ring a bell on how Moira Rose got written off Sunrise Bay? We hope all our Schitt's Creek fans get this reference. The success of the TV show can be accounted for by the fact that Mark Harmon is also one of the most highly paid actors on television. It was reported in 2018 that Harmon earns about $19 million per season. The only cast members making more than him were the Big Bang Theory cast members. Well folks, this will be all for this video. To know more about behind the scenes working on your favorite TV shows, subscribe to our channel and make sure to like this video. Which shows would you like us to cover next? Mention them in the comments below. Until next time, goodbye.